Hello everyone and welcome to yet another video about Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. It's now just two days away. So I decided to do one final video on the matter and that will be my final predictions on the game. Will people find it too easy? Will people find it too hard instead? Will it sell well? Will it not sell well? What does it mean for the future of the entire franchise? Everything like that I'll be covering in this video. So let's start. Firstly, will the game actually be good? Because lots of people have been kind of hating on it and saying it'll be awful, but if the reviews have to say anything about it, it's looking pretty promising so far. And one of the main things lots of reviews have been focusing about is how the game mixes together old and new mechanics, which is something a lot of people have been looking forward to seeing how the game handles. I've been really excited for it, which I talked about in my previous video, link up in the iCards. And that's why I'm really excited to see that I've been right and it's a really good blend of the two. So I think we can finally drop everyone saying that this game is bad because now we have solid proof from the reviewers that it's not. The next big question is, is the game gonna actually sell well? Because it doesn't matter if the game is good or not, if too many people still think it's bad or not for them, it won't sell well. But with this, well seeing how the Let's Go EV special burn news are already sold out, then I have, I have a pretty good feeling that yes, it will really sell well. A lot of you have been saying that Pokemon Go players will be the main audience for this, but I don't actually believe that will be true. I think it will be just a good mix of everyone. I actually think the Pokemon Go players will be in the minority, if I'm perfectly honest. Seeing how so many factors have impacted what the game will look like, I think more people who just own Switch are, and are already interested in Pokemon are more likely to pick it up than people who aren't, simply because there's so many new mechanics, so, so much new gameplay, and of course it revisits one of the most popular regions ever. So that's why I think it'll actually sell better with Pokemon veterans, or not even veterans, people who already like Pokemon, than the newcomers and Pokemon Go players. I think that game will still sell with them fantastically, but I think that won't be actually the main audience unlike so many people think. And let's not forget about the fact that we are getting two new mythical Pokemon with Let's Go. It's probably something too many newcomers don't even care about, they may not even know what mythical are, but we are getting mythicals that can even evolve, so that's pretty exciting. So that's another reason why so many people who already know something about Pokemon may be excited to get this game, just to see what Meltan and Melmetal will be like. And the final prediction for this video, what this game means for the future of the franchise. Now I honestly don't think they're gonna stick with this Pokemon Go integration for any more games, I think this is just a tie-in game specifically for that, and they're gonna resume with the normal kind of gameplay in the future games, but I think, and I'm really hoping, they carry over so many elements from this game. For example, the fact you can see Pokemon in the wild. I think that's just a such a small thing, but such a huge game changer. And overall, I think this game will serve as this milestone of what Pokemon game on the Nintendo Switch should be like, because it is an amazing game, at least from everything that we've been seeing so far. It does look like an amazing game, so from that point, I don't think you have anything to worry about, and I think they're gonna take all of the good stuff out of it and put it into Pokemon Gen 8, Pokemon 2019, whatever you wanna call it, the big game that's coming out next year that I can't wait, and so many of you can't as well. So for the people who may think this game isn't for them, I want to wait for Pokemon 2019 instead. I still highly recommend you look into this game, because it's looking like it's gonna be a huge success. Even if it may not sound like it's for you right now, still look into it, because there's a high chance it may actually be, you may just not know it, or been misled by the huge amount of misinformation that's been out about this game, which is just really sad. This kind of game doesn't deserve the amount of hate that it's getting out on the internet. So, once again, reevaluate what information is out there to come to a final conclusion of if this game is for you or not. Let me know if it's for you or not. Let me know what you think of this game in general down in the comments below. I'd love to know what you think. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then subscribe, like, whatever. And I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.